I was 18 years old, and uh, a friend of Dean Darling's knew me and said, I want you to go see Ding. And she, took, uh, she sent me to his office at the Des Moines Register and Tribune building. And I went up with some paintings, and I, I was quite timid and scared. And when I met him, it was even worse because he was had a gruff exterior and a gruff voice. And so uh, I showed him my paintings, and he said, "Well." I can tell you they're nice, and that won't help you better. I can tell you what's wrong with them. What do you want? I said, I want to learn. So he said, let's get to work, and work we did. Well, I had great respect for him, and of course he was, interest was in the same fields as mine with wildlife and uh, particularly waterfowl. And uh, so uh, it was a kindred spirit and we felt together that way. And, and so it was just a matter of him just seeing my work and making comments. And uh, years later he said, I can't help you anymore, Maynard, because you're beyond what I can do to help. But don't stop coming to see me, he said. I want to know your progress all the time. He gave me confidence to continue my work, and it wasn't always easy. And he told me once, he said, if you would concentrate <laughs> in uh, making five sketches a day of anything, a chair, doesn't matter what it is, just make five sketches a day for five years. He said, by the end of five years, you will be an accomplished artist. So what he was telling me, it was practice, practice, practice. And I've told many younger people that that's what it is. And you wish you could do it faster, but you just keep at it until you get it. Well, I think the most important thing that I got was in his final cartoon where he made a drawing of all the things that were close to him in his last drawing for the public. And in that, he had my painting, which I thought was uh, the most important thing. It proved that he had a sincere interest and enjoyment of my work.